this is your tarot scopes for the week commencing March the 18th with me, Kate May, Modern Day Mystic. You can see all my videos, blogs on my YouTube channel, Kate May, Modern Day Mystic, or on my social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, Kate May, Modern Day Mystic. So keep an eye on those, subscribe to my YouTube channel to get these weekly uh, tarot scopes plus other information that I post on there. Now we have Aries, first of all, and Aries I've picked for you, the King of Cups. Now the King of Cups is about handling things in a mature, sensitive way. Not usually uh, how Aries like to do things. They're quite, um, they like to do things a little bit rushed sometimes. They might speak a little bit more faster than, than some of the other signs. So this week Aries, it's just asking you just to hold back a little bit and be a bit more sensitive and calmer in your approach to things. It does indicate if there's been a lot of emotional matters going on around you, that there's gonna be harmony and balance a lot more now. It indicates that the emotional times are behind you and that there is this uh, settling period coming in this week. You could also find that there's somebody who's more mature that you're going to at the moment, somebody who is emotionally balanced and that they're going to be able to give you some good advice or stepping into your life in one way or another. It's a very, very positive card. It's a lovely, kind, caring, sensitive person, if this does represent a, a person there. But it is, like I say, saying just be a little bit calm um, and don't rush into things like you may normally do. So calmness, sensitivity is the way forward for you, Aries, this week to bring about that harmony and balance. Next, we move on to Taurus. Oh, we have another court card. Taurus, this card is asking you, the King of Swords, uh, this card is asking you to use your head. Think logically. Use your head, not your heart. You might have to step out of situations so you can see them from a different angle. You may be asking for advice from people who are quite high up in their field, like doctors or counsellors. People who can give you good sound advice that aren't emotionally attached for you. It's asking you to um, use your logic, use your mind to be able to get be rational and to be able to make choices and decisions with a rational mind rather than too emotional. There does feel like this week, Taurus, is there's some breakthrough. There is, um, I don't know if there's any legal matters going around for some of you, but definitely it feels like there is important things going on at the moment. And um, where the influence of outside people with a, an important influence is coming in for you. It's indicating I'm feeling like a breakthrough moment, like I've just said here, uh, and where you can um, see things a little bit clearer than what they may have been a few weeks ago there for you. And I know we're talking about this week, but I also feel I want to be going forward to around Easter time with you, Taurus, as well, where again this breakthrough uh, feeling and things where they're sort of coming full circle there. So look out for some good advice coming your way, Taurus, or use your head, not your heart, to make logical and decisions that could be otherwise um, mixed up for you if you're not too logical and if you get your emotions in the way there. Then we move on to Gemini. Lovely card for Gemini. Three of Wands. Gemini, this card is asking you to start moving forward with your ideas. Anything that you've been planning and thinking about, now's the time to start moving forward with that. It's a really good action card, and you might find that you're working with small groups, two or three people this week, where as long as you're all on the same page, you should be able to get a good outcome. It's talking about travel, holidays, planning things, very creative card, very creative on the work front as well here. Anything to do with the things that you want to move forward for, this is the week to be able to do it. It should have good results there. Have an idea about what it is that you want to be doing. Put that planning into action. No more just talking about it, but actually doing it. Then we move on to cancer. Okay, that's interesting because my dad's a cancer and, and he's just had a bit of a tough week with a friend of his passing. So this card for you Cancerians is about the end of difficult times. There could be um, lots of things going on in your mind at the moment, lots of mental things going on, and you might be finding that things have been a little bit of a struggle. But this card sees that struggle come to an end, and where there is new dawn, there's light at the end of the tunnel there. It's almost like that you're coming to the end of a karmic cycle, Cancerians, this week, where you can start to release negativity, release things that are holding you back or pinning you down particularly things that haven't been very comfortable for you. So it, because it's a 10, we know it's a completion. Something's coming to the end here to be able to bring about a new hope, new life, uh, and a new chapter for you. You might just have a little few more days left to go, Cancerians, or this week, 
uh, just to fi finish and finalise those difficult um, challenges at the moment. But rest assured that there is light at the end of the tunnel and as one door closes, we know that one door opens for you. But you are coming to the end of difficult times. Then we move on to Leo. Leo, another court card. Now, this card is all about action, Leo. You like action, you like to move fast with things. You have a lot of things buzzing around your head usually. So the Knight of Wands indicates that now is the time to start moving and doing things. It could literally be a house move or a job move or again holiday. This is all about travel, movement and going for it here. Very excited feeling for you Leos this week. Could be new work opportunities, new relationships. Things are happening very quickly around you at the moment, very fast. But I feel like I want to say enjoy it. Enjoy this week, enjoy that action and get going with some of those ideas that again you might have been putting off for you. If you come across something new, this card indicates going for it. Then we move on to Virgo. Virgo, you have the Page of Swords. It seems to be lots of um, court cards this week. The Page of Swords, Virgos, indicate that there's lots of things going on in your mind at the moment. You might not be communicating too well. You could be keeping things in your head a little bit. Just be aware of mixed up messages, you know, adding two and two and getting five. There could be some messages in your own mind that you're getting mixed up or from communication from others there. This card also indicates that uh, anything new that you want to be starting, if you're excited about something, maybe go back to the drawing board a little bit, maybe find really, a, dot the T's, I's, cross the T's, dot the I's, cross the T's, and find a little bit more information so that you can get things correctly. If there are anything to do with communication issues going on, this card indicates it may not be as bad as what you're first thinking. So release whatever's in your mind, communicate well, and, and try not to bottle things up too much. So I feel with this card it's about stepping back a little bit. Where the other cards have been moving forward, this card Virgos, it's asking you to just go back to the drawing board, relook at things a little bit and kind of get out of that brain fog, that fuzzy head that you might have been having there. Then we move on to Libras, I have to remember what we're doing. Libras, okay. Nine of Swords Libras. Now this card indicates that there, you might be worrying a little bit this week. There could be things on your mind and you could be over worrying about things. You could be over analysing things, being a little bit more sensitive than usual. There could be something particular on your mind. You might be having trouble sleeping as well. But the good thing about this card is it indicates that you don't necessarily need to worry. You could just be over worried about something and then find out that it isn't as bad as what you first thought. So try not to over worry about things. Try not to get anxiety about things. Try and meditate, release whatever it is, and maybe just this week, be gentle on yourself, be kind on yourself, get some early nights, and whatever it is that's worrying you, I, I feel like you'll be able to calm that and clear that over the next week there, if you don't overanalyze it, or if you don't over worry about it. Then we move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, another court card. Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles. So Scorpio, this card is about good ideas. You could be offered promotion around your work or new work opportunities. You could be thinking about practical ideas, about wanting to move forward and just dreaming up some new ways to make a little bit of extra cash there. This indicates that slow progress is coming but very good, a good foundation is going to be forming from it. Good news around financial or property or material aspects are coming in there and possibly the chance of somebody to do with either an earth sign, so possibly a Virgo, Taurus or a Capricorn coming into your life to give you some good financial advice or help you with some ideas here. It indicates that you need to really think about this, not rush forward into anything, but there's some good ideas bubbling away that um, will need to be put into practice in a practical manner for you, Scorpios. Then we have Sagittarians. Oh my God, I'm dropping all my cards. Sagittarians, okay. Here you have the Seven of Wands, Saggies. Now this card indicates you could be up against a little bit of confrontation, you could be up against a bit of a battle here, but whatever you believe in, you must stick to your guns at the moment. Um, once you've 
even if well even with sticking with your guns you still might find that you're up against uh, opposition competition here so it's about maintaining that level of balance that you you once had there and sticking up for yourself and just fighting off the people that might be causing you a little bit of harm at the moment Sagittarians but be aware, be, be wary of this card because it does indicate it's alright winning the battle short term then you have to maintain it so make sure that you do know all the answers to everything that you're, um, you're fighting against and that you're not fighting a, a losing battle there that you know your knowledge, you know your wisdom and you know that you, what you're talking about it, so that you can maintain that level of balance and you can continue winning then we have um, Capricorns, the cards that we're dropping. Capricorn, you have the Emperor. Now this can relate to Dad or a very strong male figure around you. It indicates if you've been in a controlling situation or, or had something over the last week or so where there's been uh, things happening out of your control, that you can now start to be back in control, that you can start to be master of your own destiny and feel a lot more alive and a lot more on top of things. Again, you've got that balance here. You've got that inner strength and that power and that authority that comes with this card. You might find that you're having to step up your position a little bit more. You might find that you're having to to be a little bit more powerful and um, if you work in the public eye you might find that you've got a little bit more uh, responsibilities on your shoulders here and that you're giving some advice to others. It's a very very powerful card It talks about um, authority as well, stepping up, stepping into your own, being authoritative, taking charge of things. Very good for people that work in the public um, or that are dealing with challenges at the moment. This card indicates that you can overcome them. And again, possibly something where um, an older male, a dad-like figure, is coming in around you, giving his support, giving his help and guidance there. Then we move on to Aquarius. I like this card, Six of Swords for Aquarius. Now this card indicates that mentally you could have had some troubles going on in your mind over the last couple of weeks. You might be feeling that uh, you've been going around in circles and not very motivated and things aren't just going your way. But now things are changing. This card indicates that you can go into calmer water, but it does have movement with it. So it's not about just sitting at home waiting for that to happen. It does have movement with it. So it's talking about moving into calmer waters and having to just maybe pack up your stuff and, and quickly moving out of a troubled situation into something better for you. So this week Aquarius expect a little bit of movement but mentally you're coming into something calmer, something more clearer and although you may not be sure where you are heading to, th th things are going to be a lot calmer for you there um, Aquarians. But I do feel here with Aquarians, again lots of things going on in your mind that you might have to start letting go a little bit and putting pen to paper, having a bit more action with it so that things can get moving for you there. Then we move on to our last one which is Pisces. Which do we have for Pisces? We have the King of Pentacles Pisces. Now this card indicates very good business transactions, business ideas, anything to do with money, anything to do with property, houses uh, and, and um, work ventures here. It indicates that there should be financial fulfilment coming around you and good advice. If you're looking for job news, this is an excellent card. If you're looking for um, house moves, this is an excellent card that you should be getting some good information. Uh, with somebody connected to like estate agents or property or finances there. If you're looking at this on a romantic level, then again it's about being practical and sorting out all your business so that you can be practical with, with your endeavours there. You could come into contact, like I say, with, a, with an earth sign here, with the, the pentacles, uh, and somebody who is quite assured of themselves and, and financially stable. It's a very good card to indicate that things financially will start getting sorted for you. But as I talk about that, Pisces, I do feel that there is a lot of sorting out this week for you, Pisces, that you might have to uh, go back and dig some get some drawers out and just tidy up around the home as well and get things out so that you can start to be a bit more practical in your general day-to-day -day life there that will make you feel a lot better. So 
So hopefully they make sense for you. I will be posting this on my YouTube channel, Kate May Modern Day Mystic, and on my social media as well. If you want to join my groups on social media to get in with the live free readings that I do, you can join those on Facebook and on Twitter. And you can see on Instagram as well. Otherwise, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and see what else we've got going on. Thank you. Have a good week, everyone.